Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all-natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man, let's talk about the Michael Fox and the, uh, whatever old boy name was, which I warned y'all about old boy. I went over the ranking system every now and again. I go over there, and I said, man, um, Gabriel Master. And I didn't watch the fight Saturday. Was I aware that there was a fight card on Fox? Absolutely. Um, I just chose to play COD and drink Fat Tiger beer, Flat Tiger beer, whatever the fuck it's called. I got it upstairs. Y'all see me drinking it. I just chose to do that sometimes. But well, I'm at the point in boxing where I used to watch every little cranny, little little knickknack, small fight, pity pack, small fight. I used to watch all the little small fights. I just don't watch it no more. Small fights hit better when you have better TV uh, approvers and or network approvers and matchmakers and you have the bigger fights. That's when the, the better fights, that's when the smaller fights matter. When you get a heavy dose of those great fights that you want to see on TV, you know, the smaller fights hit better, you know. And for the most part, I'm just not doing it no more. I'm not just covering the small fights no more. I'm not doing that shit no more. It's just to the point where uh, I don't care. And people say, well, I'm not here to, you know, to break down the fight. I can care the fuck less, right? Um, this dude is 4-0, 34 years old out of Venezuela. People doing this, um, doing all this uh, negotiations. And say, we going to ban the WBA. Once again, it's like Negroes protesting. You know, you begging. That's what it is. You begging the system to change permanently when it's not going to change. This dude was 4 0, 3 knockouts. He was ranked, and I don't have to refresh, but he was ranked most of this year number four in the WBA. Why is he ranked number four in the WBA? David Irigian did more than him. Connor Ben did more than him. Keith Thurman, shit, he ain't fought in two years. He did more than him. He 3 0, he's 4 0 with three knockouts. You know, number four in the WBA. They didn't raise no, they didn't raise no fucking flags. His only credible fight coming into this uh, fight with Michael Fox was Gabriel Chavez, Gabe, Diego Gabriel Fox Chavez. And he's twenty seven and five coming into that fight. Remember Gabriel Diego Gabriel Chavez fighting Keith Thurman back in the day from getting disqualified for Timothy Timothy Bradley and Timothy Bradley Ben stopped fighting. But hit the thumbs up button, share the video. Like I said before, man, y'all sitting here. Crying about a bad decision. You know, and y'all tell me when I tell y'all, you know, fights are fixed. That the shit don't exist. That's a dude. They still fixing fights. From the 50s, the 40s, 30s, early 1900s, early 1800s, wherever you want to go to. Ain't nothing changed, bro. Ain't nothing changed about, about the fight game. It's, it's just more cerebral. It's more low key. And y'all begging and pulling up, oh, this, this judge is racist. I don't give a fuck. I don't because it's the same repetitive thing we go through every fucking all the time this ain't the first time the first time this this didn't, ha this didn't happen in boxing in recent history oh she's racist you think old girl from WBA right well y'all might as well go ahead and, and run a check on the WBA and WBO WBC IBF officials and, and watch what you find y'all forgot the WBC got sued I mean the IBF got sued for um for, for selling uh, 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 ranking spots in the top 15. Y'all forgot the WBC, I think, went bankrupt, I believe, when they got sued. Nothing is, nothing is remember Canelo fight, uh, fought um, Austin Trout. They was doing open scoring. That was very controversial. Nothing is changing, bro. Nothing is going to change. WBC avoided 31 million owed to fighter by filing bankruptcy. Just put WBC bankrupt in. It's like the second article that popped up. WBC avoids paying a fighter 31 million owed uh, to the fighter by filing bankruptcy. They filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy bankruptcy protection in 2003 to keep for paying 31 million judgment award to German fighter Garcino Rakaki, whatever his name is. Who had a light his high, light heavyweight title taken from? So they can, like I said before, man. Even if you go to a court, you still they can file bankruptcy. They don't have to pay you, bro. And y'all sit here and talk about Black Lives Matter and supporting black fighters and supporting black me media members, right? You know, supporting everything black and, and these and these sanction bill bodies. Not one Negro owns one of them. But when you look in the top twenty-five of the greatest fighters of all time. 
at least 51% of them are black from Sugar Ray Leonard to Sugar Ray Robinson and Muhammad Ali to Larry Holmes. How do you rank them? Archie Moore, um, Marvin Marvelous Hagler, rest in peace. I mean, keep going on and on. Roy Jones Jr., Floyd Mayweather uh, Jr., wherever you rank these guys. You know, Sonny Liston, you know, even mid-level guys like Floyd Patterson, Joe Lewis, one of the greatest punchers of all time, Joe Frazier, Mike Tyson, Lennox, I mean, Lennox is black. Lennox Lewis, Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, however you want to fix it. If you're just talking about black Americans, exclude a couple of them. You know, Michael second to none. You know, Pernille Whitaker, rest in peace. Mildred Taylor, it's just a lot of great fighters up and down. Too, Mark Too Sharp. You know, up and down, up and down. And not, not one black belt on. From modern great fighters like Floyd Mayweather to 90s greats like Roy Jones, James Tony, Michael Nunn, you know, to, to the 80s, Mike Tyson, Larry Holmes. Michael the Jinx Spinks. And the Spinks family. Son world titleist. Uncle, I mean, uh, Michael, uh, Michael Spinks, greatest like one of the greatest like heavyweights of all time. Uncle you know, won the gold medal. Leon and won the top and won the heavyweight early one of the earliest to win. I think it was one of the earliest to win the heavyweight title in the duration of his career. And you telling me out of all the black all the black accomplishments in boxing. All the black accomplishments in boxing, and we don't own one sanctioned belt body. And we talking about modern from Deontay Wilder to the Charlo twins, to Earl Spence, to Terrence Crawford, to Javante Tank Davis, to Gary Russell, to Stephen Foden Jr. I'm talking about all the black fighters we got around still pretty much dominating shit, killing shit, dominating uh Weight classes becoming undisputed, attempting to become undisputed. Demetrius Andrade. That we still don't own nothing in boxing. You know, we still don't don't own nothing significant in boxing other than a management company. That's why I was before Al Hamer starting his own sanction bill body. Why not? Why not? Why not? You know, start of a start a boxing union. For shit like this. You know? Why not start a boxing union, you know, that, that got a belt that you put that you pay sanctioning fees to, but you get insure you get life insurance, you get medical insurance from that. You get a 401k. Why why not start that? But most of all, the only thing you do, if you disgraced by this, drop that motherfucking title. Drop that title. If you got a regular super belt, drop that title and don't acknowledge it. Floyd Mayweather, Magic Johnson, Charles Barkley, Greg Mathis, Denzel Washington. You know how many multi-millionaires, hundred million dollars watch boxing? You can be a part of boxing by funding the belt. Can you imagine Floyd and Magic Johnson funding the belt? Denzel, Greg Mathis funding the belt? Teddy Atlas able to get his own uh, 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 union? And the money going back to the fighters and not paying for a Venezuela a uh, 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 tuition. Come on, man. Y'all paying y'all paying to fund Mexico, but ain't nobody fun, funding the the hood, or funding the slums. You know, drop that fucking belt if y'all if y'all really disgusted by that, and you really don't want, and you really don't like races. Drop the fucking belt then. And then you can't just drop. You can't don't acknowledge it. Send a send a message to the WBC and the IBF and the WBO that we will not take that shit no more. That we don't we don't like races in boxing. We don't like fucked up decisions. And, and no swift, um, and no swift judgment come across. Just like uh, uh, French French line crews. No, WBC can get canceled too. We can start our own sanctioning belt bodies. We can pay sanctioning fees, and, and even if we don't have health, uh, lifetime insur life life insurance or or health insurance and all that, at least the funding will be going back in America. And IBF is stationed in America. What do they get back to America? I don't know. Replace our WBO and put the, IB the IBO in there. Recognize the IBO as a major belt. Recognize that you paying you you funding all these all these other other uh, uh, communities and, and don't nobody give back to your community to your to the slums to the hood to to the kids in the suburbs. Like I said before, ain't no point of bitching and complaining. Drop the fucking belt. 
Everybody that held the W they had the WBA that don't like it, drop it. We 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 can tell the IBO to come in here, we're gonna recognize you as a major belt. The fighters make boxing up. And that's gonna send a message to the other sanction belt bodies and we ain't gonna take it. But just like black people do, all they do is beg. Big, 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 big the system to throw them a bone. Not even a T-bone steak, not even a chicken wing. All they do is ask them to throw, throw them the bone. If you really disgusted by this, tell your favorite boxer to drop that whole ass belt. If you really disgusted about this, tell your favorite boxer to drop this belt. Let's not just hold on. Oh, let's just don't EP. I said let, not let just let not, don't let just these people just ride you up. Just talk, 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 and don't get don't get shit done. You know, protesting ain't nothing but begging. Stop begging and let's do something. We've been begging for hundreds of years. We've been begging since we came in this country. We begged so much, we finally got rights. We begged so much, we was able to vote. We begged so much, you know, stop begging, you know. Let's, let's tell your favorite fighters, man, drop the belt. If you're against racism and against equality and against double standards, drop the belt. Fighters make the belt hot. Fans make the fighters hot. If we not gonna drop the belt, I don't want to hear y'all bitching complain. I don't care if my Kyle Fox, Michael Fox, whatever his name is, got robbed. It's nothing personal against him. I don't care because we are gonna be going through the same time, the same thing next time. And all y'all gonna do is 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 is, 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 is tears. I shed so many tears. Dun, dun, dun. I'm t I don't care about your tears. I care about action. If y'all want direction, the the direction is to tell your favorite fighter to drop drop that whole ass belt. If it's regular, super, interim. Don't acknowledge it. Let's go to the WIBO and replace it with the IBO. Come on, let's replace it with the IBO. We can replace it with the IBO. Man, we make the IBO hot, the fans and the fighters. But you know what? We don't have no, uh, we don't have no, uh, it comes shaking me, shake. We don't have no leaders no more. Ain't no more Malcolm X's. Ain't no more Muhammad Ali's. Everybody's just a follower. Everybody looking for somebody else to set it off. If Earl want to be, Want to be the leader? He want me some put some respect on his name. You no, know, let's start a petition. Let's start a petition. If it's Charlo, if it's Derek James, if it's if it's a white trainer, it's a white fighter, Arthur Bader BF. Let's start the let's start the uh let's start the way. But you know what? Don't nobody want to step up no more and be no leader. Everybody want to be a follower. Everybody want to worry about their money instead of being a instead of being a uh, a leader. And it's not gonna happen. So everybody crying about she's a racist. You think she the only racist judge in boxing? You think this is the only corrupt decision in boxing? Come on. Nobody care about your tears if it ain't going to turn into action. I don't want to hear it. When fighters that ain't did shit pop up in the rankings, ain't fought nobody, I don't hear nobody bitching and complaining. When Berto popped up at number 10 when he was supposed to fight, when they wanted to fight, ooh, guys, nobody, nobody turned a blind eye for real. So Honestly, I can care less. I can care less, man. I can care less. We can care less. Come on. He's too strong. Now. He's too big. Do y'all boy my house. All right, go go back to the chair. He's getting strong, bro. He like he got the strength of a hundred pound dog, plus pound dog. But yeah, if we ain't gonna do action, I don't care. I don't care about y'all tears. I don't care about you calling the WBA. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Am I rushing action? I don't care. I don't care. If we not gonna do nothing about it, we not gonna drop the belts. I don't care. He won't be the last fighter. He ain't the first fighter to get fucked over. I don't care. When these dudes pop up in the, pop up in the sanction belt by the ranking system, y'all don't care. When I warned y'all about Gabriel, he only had three three fights and he was ranked number four. Nobody cared. I, I don't care. Unless we're willing to change the change the system and take steps towards changing the system. I don't care about y'all fucking uh y'all tears. I don't care if y'all shed how many little tears, a lot of tears. I don't care. Who cares? If you ain't willing to change the system and be a part of the change and the fighters in the sport ain't willing to change, I don't care, man. Most of them fighters don't do shit but buck dance. All they do is bop, 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 tap dance. You know, tap dance in this chicken coop. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Reach out if you have a video request, advertise on the channel, chop it up. All my social media links in the description. 
Hit me up. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good three one three. Venmo CJ Good three one three. Selling got a Venmo donation, so come on, let's see if somebody hit the Venmo. A PayPal link in the description. Uh, check out the Facebook group. Best way to donate: thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me th know what you guys think in the comment section. Check out the box moves playlist. One time for the one time. Peace. Hey you, yeah, I'm talking to you. You right there watching this video, waiting for this live stream to start, or just watching the membership video, man, and why you should join the membership. Let's talk about it real quick, expeditiously. Um, we got the three levels. You got the rookie level, you got loyalty badges, you got custom emoji badges, and you have members on the live stream. As we get more people flowing in uh, to join the membership, I have members only live chat. That means everybody can see the video that want to see the video, but only members will be able to chat. That's $3 That's a rookie. Dog Star, you get personal shout outs before the videos, maybe after the video, mostly likely before the videos. Um, you give a priority to reply in the chat. Uh, so as soon as I see you, I reply before anybody else. Get early access to pretty much all my non-boxing videos um, there. $10 a month. Then we got the boxing pound for pound superstar for all my boxing boys and, and gals out there. Get early access to prediction and most of our boxing content, virtual video collaborations and open debate. So, you know, if you want to pre-record or go live and debate me for a whole video, you got you. you got early access to new videos, some of the videos in the All-Stars will too. And priority reply in the comments. So I see in the comments you get priority reply. No instantly that's twenty dollars a month. So uh, let me know what you guys do what you think. Don't have a Patreon no more, so Here's where you're going to get some of that exclusive content I used to have on the Patreon. Peace.